Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, I did show how to change from a local to uh, a Microsoft account or create a local account on both Windows uh, 10 and 11. Uh, but on uh, Windows 11, I had shown how to change the account type from administrator to standard account. Well, on Windows 10, it's, it's a little bit different, but it's not that much different. But I will show you on Windows 10 specifically. And also, once again, talk about the differences and how it should set up. So on my computer, if I go and look at my avatar, um, you can see that I can sign out. I can go into a test account, which is a standard account that I created as a local account. But go into your settings and go into your accounts. And on the left side, you will go into family and other users. Here, you will see the users that you have. And of course, you can add someone else and so on. But if you want to change some of the users uh, with the type of account, you click on the account itself and you click change account type. Once again, it will give you standard or administrative user. Remember that administrator has all the powers. It can do anything. So this is the account that can be used to change whatever you want in Windows, install software. It is also dangerous in a way because it allows Windows to do pretty much anything. That's why standard users, if you have family, friends that you created account, they should always be in a standard user because they cannot install software. They cannot change settings. They can do the basic things that you do with what's already installed, going to the internet, surfing the web. They could check email. But to install new software or change things, they will have to ask you for the administrative password. And that's why it's better to stay as a standard user. And of course, uh, that means it's safer for virus because a lot of viruses or malware cannot install if you're not on an administrative account. They only are. Uh, they can only install on, on when it, when you have full privilege. So, with a standard user, it blocks every. It blocks a lot of things. Not everything, depending on security flaws, it could be bypassed. But for the most part, it is a much safer account. So remember that people that have accounts that use your computer, they should all stay in the standard user in general, as they will be able to do probably what they want but they'll need your permission to go further ahead and install new software if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching